Looks like we're gonna do things the hard way. Let's see if we can kill these guys with our Magnum. Whoa. All right. Well, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you gotta throw stealth out the window and just kick the shit out of these guys. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Ace and I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. This is always all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. So if you like what you see, please take a moment and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and let's get started. All right, so um, I have my, my inventory is completely full with the most valuable stuff. The most expensive stuff is on my toolbar. Um, this is this is the single most valuable item that I'm gonna sell. Um, it's almost four thousand just by itself, and that's with you know the mods and everything. And then all the rest of the mods <coughs> that I, I'm willing to part with, I have put on you know whatever I could put on. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and sell this stuff. Uh, I do need to here. Let's do something here really quick. We're gonna put something relatively inexpensive like I don't know this. No, not that. We gotta hurry because we don't have much time. How about this uh, pistol? Yeah, we'll do the orange shotgun. Because what we need to do is we need to carry. I made a um, who's them? Was it? Yeah, an awesome sauce, but it doesn't last very long, so we don't want to drink it till we actually get to the trader. And then you know we still have a lot more things to sell, but the rest of the stuff is not super valuable, and. You know, we can. Uh, I can do that tomorrow because uh, we don't have a lot of time. So we're just we're just gonna make one trader trip tonight. So uh, I think we're good to go. The the purple M60, of course, we're not selling them, but but I'm taking a weapon with me. Um, that would not be wise to go out without at least one weapon, right? And uh, I just didn't have time to load the rest of the stuff into the four by. So, like I said, we'll we'll worry about selling the rest of that stuff later. Uh, but we're gonna make some serious casts just on on this stuff because like I said I went through everything and this is uh, definitely the most valuable uh, stuff that we have so even with just you know what I'm carrying with me right now uh, if we add the um let's see we got this we already got the cigar in our mouth and then if we add the learning elixir and the sugar butts um, we're gonna make some some serious cash Wah. I'm I'm guessing that we have probably mm, we probably have maybe close to two stacks, two full stacks of coin uh, just with us, not including all the rest of the stuff that's back in the house. That's what I'm guessing. That might be a little a little high, stack and a half to two stacks, anyways. So we're gonna head over to the desert trader. And get the stuff sold and make some serious money. And we already have like I don't know what four full stacks back at the base, four or five, something like that. Uh, so we're gonna be rolling in the dough, man. Rolling in the dough. It's conceivably possible that we could make it to the trader to the south of us too, but I don't know. Let's just see what we can do here. All right, so we're going to take a sugar butts. We've got our stogue in. Pretty much haven't taken it out of my mouth since I found it. Okay, and then let's take the awesome sauce. This only lasts for three minutes. And let's start selling. Here we go. We're going to start. We're not going to do the M60. We're going to start with this. So right now we have three, 300 coin. Oh, man. I way underestimated. <laughs> look, look at that money, you guys. Holy crap. Oh, man. That's three and a half stacks of coin just from that. We still got all this other stuff back at the base. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, I've got a minute, two minutes. I don't think I'm going to make it to the other trader before Awesome Sauce wears off. The thing that's tough about Awesome Sauce is, is the honey. 
Um, because it takes five honey to make one. And, um, I need to probably start hitting more stumps and stuff. Anyway, let's just take a look at his secret stats while we still can get a super good deal. In case he has something we might actually want. Nothing in secret. Um, pretty sure we've got, we already have those. Well, yeah, pretty sure we have purple ones, and this is all the stuff that I sold him already. Okay, cool. You have a great day now. You have a great day, too. Oh, I was going to look at one thing. One of you guys told me in the comments I should be buying eggs off of these guys, and I agree with that. I just didn't ever think about it. He doesn't have any eggs on him, though. Tastes like brass or ass. Hard to tell. Can't say that I know what ass tastes like, but, you know, whatever. To each his own, right? Anyway, um, let's grab those. I'm going to start using uh, jailbreakers, too, just because, you know, we can no longer make those. All right, cool. So... Just trying to think if it would be worth it to go back to the base, load up on the rest of the stuff, and try and get down to the south trader. It's gonna... Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! <laughs> Shit. Um, we have seven minutes left on our sugar butts, too. Well, let's try it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, we have two minutes and 42 seconds left on sugar butts. Alright, uh, let's just sell. I'm not even going to try and worry about what I'm selling. We're just going to sell. Except for, if we have duplicates, I'll try and do the more expensive one. Doesn't want any of that. Okay, there we go. So, um... We got another two and a half-ish stacks um, from this this run, too. All right, let's quickly take a look and see what he's got. Gyrocopter accessories. Uh, I think we know how to make those. Yes, we do. We need the chassis. Okay. Needle and thread. We'll just buy that so we can get the achievement. Um, I guess we'll buy that. Bar brawling. Huh, what the hell? Let's buy it so we can get the achievement. Not that we really care about that one so much, but what the hell, right? Okay, let's go look at this really quick. Did you, um, you know what? Let's buy electrical stuff from you since I can't make it without putting points into it, which I don't really want to do at this point. You have any relays? You got steel. Oh, um... 20% bartering. It's either that or honey. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to buy it. It's not like we don't have any money, right? This is all the stuff I sold him. Thanks for shopping all right. here. Come again. You're welcome there, feller. And then let's get another jailbreakers. And, well, I didn't want skull crushers, but I guess we're having skull crushers. While we're here, how much time do we have? Yeah, we got a little bit of time. What do you got for quests? We haven't taken our tier 5 yet. Okay, factory large one. I believe that's Shamway. Let's see what else he's got. Can do it, please. Factory large two. Can you help me? All right, one of those is going to be Shamway, and I think the other one's going to be Shotgun Messiah. I think. No need to apologize. I just don't remember which one's which. Other sources. What about this one? Friend, I'm in trouble. Okay, that's Factory Large well, 1 again. This job for you as long as I can. I really admire and this you, is Factory Freddy. Large and 1. That's why I'm asking you for it. Fetch and Clear. Alright, let's just take this Fetch and Clear. I don't know if that's Shotgun Messiah or Shammy, but we're going to find out, and then I'll know after that. Okay, 
Well, we made some money, you guys. Oh, man, did we ever make some money. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the base and get situated, and then maybe we'll go do that Tier 5. What the hell? That's We don't really have anything else to do. Uh, you know, I've got the horde base all repaired. Um... So, you know, it's either that or we just do some more random looting, which, of course, we could always do. That's always fun, too. So, yeah, let me let me go back to the base, um, get everything situated, and then decide what our next move is. So I'll see you uh, in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so this is what we have. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, so we got eight nine we have we almost have um <clears throat> two hundred thousand coin um because we almost have 10 stacks of that so we are rolling in the dough like majorly rolling in the dough so that's pretty nice pretty nice indeed all right so i'm making some uh, more steel arrowheads um and i think what i'm gonna do i mean we're gonna probably find quite a bit of ammo in shamway but let's just stock up on some extra just in case we need it and uh, we're gonna take a couple of things of pipe bombs as well should uh, look into making a rocket launcher can we do, I think we can make a rocket launcher actually there's they're just so expensive the ammo is so expensive for it no I guess we can't we need a schematic for that okay so let's grab these steel arrowheads and we want to make crossbow bolts, which we have to do in here. Okay, so let's make 75 here, and we'll make 75 here. What does it take to make exploding? So we need steel arrowheads, gunpowder, and duct tape. What if we should maybe make some of those? We got a couple more points. We got three points, actually. So what are we going to do with those? Probably should get fortitude back up to seven. I'm thinking. So, um, so that way we can t get machine gunner back to level four where we had it before, since that is our oh shit weapon after all. So yeah, we'll we'll get that up to seven, and then I'm probably gonna switch back and focus on uh, strength again just to get 69er up a little bit more. However, I do want, I really want to get start doing some pain tolerance and healing factor. I know I keep saying that, but at some point, we, we just need to bite the bullet and do it, because uh, it's going to help our survivability, of course. Oh, how's our armor? Armor's in very good shape. So, all right, let's get these guys going. Exploding crossbow bolts. So that's going to take eight and a half minutes. Dang. All right. Well, guys, I'll see you over the factory, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we are at uh, the Shotgun Masai factory, which is indeed uh, factory two. And so what we're going to do is we're going to double loot it. Uh, this And this is a different shotgun uh, Maasai factory than the one we double looted uh, the other day when we did the random looting episode. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough room for everything? Let's go ahead and put a couple of these extra uh, bullet stacks back in the, the 4x4. We'll put the landmines in there for the moment. Uh, we do have the jailbreakers. We don't need the health bar with us, though. Just so we have enough room to bring everything back down. So hopefully two rows is good enough uh, to do that. So we'll hop up here, get a double loot in, and then we'll start the thing for reals. Um, goes without saying that, you know, these tier 5 quests are very... Um, Oh, you know what? I'm in a different spot than I thought I was. Okay. Well, here, let's just, since we're up here, let's just work our way around this way anyway. Um, anyway, it goes without saying that these quests take a very long time to complete. And if any of you have ever done a Tier 5 quest, you, you know that already. So this is going to uh, be a multi-part episode. And depending upon how long it actually takes, you know, it might end up being uh, longer than just, you know, the usual 30-minute episodes, too. So we'll just kind of, you know, play that by ear and see how things go. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm on the wrong side of the building. I thought I was on the other side of the building than where we are, but we're not. So let's just see if we can work our way up there without getting ourselves killed in the process. I guess we're going to have to go up this way. So we just have to kind of fight our way across a couple vultures and probably have to kill a couple Zeeks to get up there, but that's fine. We can we can handle that. Uh, this little half block might give me some trouble. Oh, no, we're good. Okay. I meant to come up on that side over there because then you just you hop up the building, cross over here, kill a zombie or two, and then straight up, but I was on the wrong side. Yeah, so these... Yikes. Uh, these are going to be... A little bit longer episodes and probably multi, definitely multi-part, just because there's no way I can get through a tier five, especially this one. This is one of the longest ones in the game. Um, you know, in one episode. Let's see. We could one-shot him. If we don't, we'll finish him off with our knife because we don't want to. Actually, you know what? On second thought, let's use our sniper rifle. We just don't want to, you know, aggro the whole group. Is all. Okay, got him. So there's probably going to be a couple Zikaroos right around this corner, too. But the good news is we should turn that off. In fact, you know what? Let's put our... Let's put our night vision on. There we go. Um, you know, we have extra perks at nighttime because of um, the... Uh, what's, that, which, what's that called? The Night Stalker. So we have... Um, all of these perks, 10% more sneak damage at night, sneak 5% better at night, uh, bows do 10% more damage, gain more XP, and do 50% extra sneak damage to sleeping victims. So those are some really nice perks uh, for sure. Before we take on this irradiated biker who's going to be seriously tough, uh, I don't want to aggro him. Let's go over to this corner here. Okay, we should be able to take him out without uh, aggroing the other guy. So let's start off with a 7.62 to the head. We are sne sneak sn in sneak mode. And then we'll finish him off probably just with um, the Magnum. This guy is so tough. All right. Good. We're good to go. So yeah, we'll double loot this place and then, you know, we'll start the quest for real. Now, uh, one of the things that, one, one of my kind of goals, I guess you could call it, for getting through this place is that we want to try, <coughs> excuse me, we want to try and get through it in such a way that we minimize aggroing groups of zombies because there's a lot of ambush points in this place uh, so the goal is going to be that we um, let's put those on and let's take this you know that we try and get as many stealth kills in as possible and we should be able to accomplish that um, with our you know with our stealth skills and of course we're going to be better at night but it, you know, we'll go through an entire day and probably into the next night before we finish this place because it's just that long. And it's probably, you know, either the most dangerous POI in the game or if not the most dangerous, it's definitely up in the top, I would say, three or four uh, of the most dangerous POIs. So there's that, too. Let's see what we get here. Ammo. I'm gonna try the weapons bag. Okay, um, not too bad. And then we'll check the crates here. Some parts. A yellow compound crossbow. That's pretty decent. And some green steel chest armor. All right, cool. So, what I want to do, let's get these back on here. You have to turn your headlamp off before you equip your night vision goggles or the light stays on, which kind of defeats the purpose. 
uh, you know, of staying stealthy. Okay, so I'll meet you guys down at the entrance and we will start the quest for realsies. Okay, let's do this. Um, this is a fetch and clear and we're not going to, um, we're not going to spend time uh, looting, you know, the more basic stuff. We're just going to hit things like ammo piles and uh you know safes and you know the bigger stuff uh, but for the most part we're not going to do a lot of looting just because i've got a really full inventory uh, so i don't have a lot of room and you know we can always come back later and get stuff uh, as needed um and or you know i guess i could also uh, put a drop chest down too and come back for it later so uh, but anyway the focus here is just to get through the place more than it is uh to do uh, any you know massive looting so at least that's the plan we'll see how things go all right, so again, our goal here, guys, is to get through this place with minimal um, aggroing of groups. We're gonna twi uh, we're gonna twi we're gonna twi we're gonna try and thwart. I had the th the thwa <laughs> on my lips. Uh, we're gonna try and thwart the ambushes as much as we can. There's gonna be a couple of places where we're just not gonna be able to do that, but for the most part, let's see if we can get through this with you know minimal number of ambushes. I do have the perk that allows me to um, to sneak over trash without it triggering anything, so we don't really need to worry about, you know, cleaning up the trash. Okay, so we got a red dot above us. Uh, pro usually there's one or two dudes up in the... Yeah, there's somebody right there. He's in there radiated too. Is there anybody around the corner here? So we do, you know, pack an extra punch at, at nighttime you know, with our skills so we can... Oh, man, we just barely got him before morning. All right, so unfortunately, for the first part of this, we're going to have to go through it, uh, you know, in the daytime without the extra perks. But when we get about, I don't know, maybe halfway or so through this uh, POI, it'll turn night again. Uh, so what that means is the really heavily armored opponent, opponents and the irradiated, we might not always be able to one-shot them uh, with the bow and you know if that's the case we just finish them off you know with the knife or the you know the silenced pistol uh, but in some cases like that particular situation we can too and I'm also going to have to remember to turn the you know the night vision off and on uh, depending upon you know the dynamic lighting which I don't like in this game I like the idea of it it just doesn't work very well See, just going around this corner here, it all of a sudden got much darker for no, I mean, no real reason that I can see. So it's just, it's just kind of weird how it works. Got some zombies outside, but I'm not too worried about them. Okay, so we got lots of red dots that just showed up. There's one right there. Oh, reload. And we are using, you know, steel crossbow bolts. And I also made 40 exploding crossbow bolts, too, uh, which we will use at certain places where, where we're going to need some explosive power. Okay, let's see if we can kill these guys without aggroing the group. Oh, he dropped a bag. Nice. Okay, there's a guy right over there. Man, just love this stealth build. It works so well, you know, for these uh, tier 5 in-game quests. Because, you know, if I was coming in here as a, a juggernaut type of build in heavy armor, there's no way we'd be able to sneak past these guys. We'd have to just take them head on, which is fine for a juggernaut build because that's kind of the idea behind it, right? But for this build, um, you know, we want to get stealthy kills. Okay, so here's what we're going to do here. We're going to take this guy out. As much as possible, we want to try and not get too close to these guys because obviously the closer we get, the more likely they are to detect us. So if we can take... In fact, it looks like we've taken everybody out in that corner, so we'll go over to that corner and then shoot into this corner to kill those guys. But we do have a dude uh, over here. There's one right there. Okay, we'll take him out. There's a red dot over there. I wonder if there's a zombo in that room over there. Could be. All right, here's a guy here. 
Nice. Six times sneak damage bonus. Love it. All right, there's no Zekos in this corner here because there's no red dots. Now we can see it. It would have been a lot harder for me to sneak around there and kill him without him detecting us. We probably could have done it if we were really quiet, but why take the chance if we don't have to, right? Okay, so we should be clear all the way in this corner. And we only have one more red dot back over this way. And I'm thinking he's probably going to be in uh, this room here. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, I can't shoot through the door, unfortunately. Um, so now it's a question of can I break this door down without attracting attention? He should have... <laughs> that should wake them up. I mean, it's so damn loud. It's so loud. Okay, can we sneak around the corner now and snipe this guy without... Oh, actually, yeah, we can hit his head right there. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. All right, let's check this uh, working stiff. And we also got a cardboard box here with nothing in it. I really should probably remove the flame mods off my tools um, just because it doesn't really fit with the stealth build. Oh, that's pretty nice. So that's something I might, I'm not going to do that now, of course, but it's something we might consider doing. Ah, uh, what the hell, let's check this. It probably do doesn't have any good in it. Um, well, actually, that's worth taking and fixing up and selling. We could make a little bit of coin off of that. Uh, oh, look at that. Uncover the rarest hiding places. Find 10% more jewelry and precious gems when looting. Thank you very much. All right. That, uh, that was a nice find. Most definitely. We're not going to loot the trash. I always have the option of coming back after I've cleared the place and, you know, do the other looting. And if I did that, I would do it off camera anyways. Okay, so I think we're going to be clear uh, through here, but now we're going to enter this next area. Let's turn our night vision off while we're in the bright spot. And there's a guy right there. Sometimes the red dots show up for us, and sometimes they don't. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, now we got red dots. Not exactly sure what the mechanic is for when they appear, unless maybe it's just... You know, when we get into that area, I'm thinking. So there's no more red dots. But once the red dots do show up, then they seem to be pretty reliable. Once once you don't see any more, then the zo zombos are cleared from that area. Nice. So, you know, the other thing, too, and I don't get this, is the stealth does seem to be working. When I first did the respec, um, you know, a couple of days ago, it does. It didn't seem to be working, but now it does. So I don't know if I if it was a situation where I had to relog to get it to kick in or what. But <clears throat> anyways, it seems to be working now. So I'm thankful for that because that's the whole essence of this build. Of course, is to be sneaky, sneaky. Okay, we're going to get some uh, Zeke's right up through here. In fact, there's one right there. And there's one right there. I wonder why he didn't show up on the red dots. Or maybe he did and I just missed it. But no red dots behind us, so we got three enemies up in front. All right, let's see if we can... Hop up here quietly. Okay, this guy right there. Oh, yeah, this one's an easy kill. Okay, this one might be a little tricky because we have to get really close to him. Unless we can come around here. Got to get to his head. His head's buried in the pallet is the problem. Yeah, his head is buried in the pallet, so we're going to have to take him off at the knee. That worked. Man, I love this desert vulture. <laughs> it's such an awesome gun. 
it's definitely my favorite handgun in the game. Even more than the normal Magnum, you know. Okay, so this other Zeke is right on the other side of that pallet. There's his foot. Um, let's see if we can go around this way to get a headshot in. Oh, we're not going to be able to because it's going to be blocked. Ah. Okay. See, that's going to be a tough one because here again, we got to get really close. But, you know, if he wakes up, then we'll just knife him. Okay, there's his head right there. Whoop. Excellent. So far, so good. We're coming up uh, to a pretty nasty ambush point, though, here pretty soon. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh, there's an irradiated right there. Uh, so there's a guy right behind this door, too. Oh, shit, he's a biker, too. Tough son of a bitch. Okay, um, hmm. There's no way I can one-shot that guy unless I get a really lucky crit. I kind of don't want to get in front of him to get this guy behind the door, though, but we might not have much choice here. Or, or I could aggro both of them and then just take them out. Oh, shit. Okay, well, so much for that. Looks like we're going to do things the hard way. Let's see if we can kill these guys with our Magnum. Whoa. All right. Well, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta throw stealth out the window and just kick the shit out of these guys. Sometimes that's all you can do, right? Um, yeah, that was a really tough spot. So, we survived it. That's the important thing. Let's drink this to free up a spot here. Okay, now the nice thing about this room here is that, um, you know, it kind of creates a little place for us to retreat. In fact, both of these doors do. So... Uh, let's go into here first. We've got, uh, we can get into the lower tower from here and get a couple of, um, shoddy messiah boxes. And with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to do it without aggroing the next ambush that usually will happen in this spot that we're going to go to. There's just a Zeke outside. All right, so let's go up here. We want to avoid stepping in the that of course so we'll be in the upper part of this tower towards the end of this this session so you see all the red dots now so if you aggro those guys they'll all come through and break through the wall to try and get to you so we're going to try and do this as quietly as possible and see if we can get these three boxes without aggroing them Okay. Another compound crossbow. All right, we definitely want to take those just because they're going to be worth a lot of money. Um, who don't have anything in here? I wouldn't really want to give up. I suppose we could throw twenty-five cash. Oh no, actually, here, yeah, let's get rid of those. Don't care about iron crossbow bolts. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I've got, I've got to get the flame mods off of my my utility tools. It just doesn't fit with this build, and it does increase our the chance of us, you know, getting discovered too. So, note to self: next time we get back to the base, I mean, I could even take them off right now, I guess. The, it would make the tools a little bit less effective, but it's going to help us stay stealthy is the thing. So, let's see. This has a flame mod on it. Uh, this does not. Okay. What else does? I think it, 
it's my pick. Yeah, both the pick and the shovel, or I mean the axe, have the flame mod. You know what I think I'm going to do, you guys? Since we're not that far away from the 4 by, before we proceed from this point, I'm just going to run back and unload. Uh, so I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Okay, we're back, and um, I removed the flame mods uh, from the tools and uh, unloaded our inventory. Uh, so we're now ready to proceed. We've got a big ambush area coming up. Oh, shit! That scared me. Uh... Wow, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got a big ambush area coming up here soon. Um, dang. Yeah, we definitely woke somebody up. It looks like probably just one Zombo. Okay, she's going to open that door for us, which is fine, because we want to go in there anyway. Whew. Yeah, that came... <laughs> I was not expecting that. My, my heart rate's rushing just a little bit here. Um, okay, we got a guy right there. Oh, another biker. Come on, game. Uh, all right, we better give him some magnum action. And woke up some more zombos. Okay, well, we didn't do a very good job of not aggroing a group of them that time, but maybe what I should have done is crossbowed him and then ran back here just so we aggroed him alone. But it is what it is. Let's just keep moving through, see what we can do here. There's someone right behind the wall there. Dispatched him. Oops, didn't quite make it up there, did we? All right, so they've calmed down a little bit. Someone in that corner. There's two zombos right there just kind of wandering around. We got a Hawaii five O and something else. Oh man, son of a bitch. He he like ducked right as I pulled the trigger. Is it just you, Arlene? She is dead, right? Yeah. They they keep moving right as I'm pulling the trigger. Okay, let's wait for them to calm down so they're standing still. Then we can do that. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna move, so I'm gonna wait. Just hold still for like three seconds, man. One more to go. He's up in that area doing something. Whatever Zombo was over here, they're not there now. It's probably Arlene. Really? You're going to make me go up after that guy? Game? Damn it. Oh, I'll bet you he dropped down. So he's back in the other room now. We 
we can't get up here. Oh, yeah, we can. He's coming around the corner here. Okay, we dispatched him. Well, that that was a little rougher than I would have liked it to have been. But sometimes that's the way it goes. That guy, that first guy just surprised the hell out of me. <laughs> so I made too much noise getting away from him. And then our, our stealth opportunity kind of went downhill from there, right? Let's see what we got in here. All right, that's decent stuff. A little impact driver action. You don't see those in loop very often. And we got a couple of um, motion sensors, which we might put to use at some point. Nah, we don't want that. Okay, so everybody loaded. Everybody is loaded. Except for you. Get you, get you a full magazine there. Okay, this next part's going to be tricky. Um, I don't think we'll have any problem in here, but it's going around that corner um, is going to be tough, and that's why we got the landmines, by the way. Uh, but we do have a safe in here. I don't think there's anything, as far as I know, in here to loot. Uh, there might be like a duffel bag or something, a purse, something stupid behind those targets, but I don't think there's anything major. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Probably not as good as our... Oh, this actually has better range damage than our blue sniper. Seven less in the magazine, but three more damage. Okay, that's something we might consider at some point. We'll have to take it back to the base, put some mods on it, and just do an overall comparison. But it does three more points of damage, which isn't bad. Okay, now for the tough part. So here's what we're going to do. There is a big group of Zeeks in that room and a big group of Zeeks in that room. And then there's a bunch up above, too. Um... But it's these first two rooms that are going to be uh, the tough part. So what we're going to do is we're going to put landmines down. Uh, we want to get it far enough in to where one landmine doesn't activate the other one. Look at all the red dots. Okay, then. There we go. So the plan here is we're going to make some noise and then retreat to this room, close the door, put Junkie down, and then stand our ground with our oh shit weapon. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. 